Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are working out our upper body and our arms. So if you're like me, you tend to avoid upper body and you kind of work the glutes, inner thighs, outer thighs, core a little bit more. But sometimes we do need to train our upper body. So I'm keeping this one short and sweet for us today. So maybe you can even add it on to one of your other glute workouts if you want. But you won't need any equipment at all, just your mat, yourself, and your favorite playlist on in the background. Let's get started. All right, we're starting in all fours to begin with. And then tuck the toes, come all the way up into downward dog. From here, we're taking a nice deep breath in, lengthen through the spine, and press the heels down towards the mat. On the exhale, we come into our plank. So we inhale to lengthen back, press the heels down. Exhale, start to engage the core, engage the glutes, and come into your plank. That's it, we've got a few more here. Really feel that lovely stretch as you're in your downward dog, and then start to strengthen in your plank. You've just got five more here. Really pressing the arms away from the mat. Last four. For three. See if you can hold it in that plank for a little bit. For two. Last one, we hold it in that downward dog position. From here, we extend our right leg long up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, we bend the knee in towards the chest, scoop the belly and then press it all the way back towards the ceiling. Exhale, we tuck the knee in towards, reach towards your nose if you can, and then press all the way up. Hold it in for a little pause, and inhale to lengthen. You've just got four more here. Really scoop the belly, pull your knees in as much as you can. You've just got two more for two. Last one we hold it all the way up into our three-legged dog. From here, we just drop the left knee down towards the mat and keep that right leg long. Drop the back toes and readjust your hands if you need. From here, we're coming into some press-ups. Oh, I've got some hair in my mouth. Coming into some press-ups. So we inhale to bend through the elbows and exhale to push. Inhale to bend, try and tuck your elbows close towards your waist and exhale to press. Really driving through the palms of your hands to push away from the mat. We're not here for long. If this is too much for today, you're more than welcome to drop both knees and come into your press-ups from here. You've just got three more to go. For three, exhale to press. For two, last one, we hold it down, hold it for five, hold it four, shaky arms, three, two, and one, press all the way up and lower the back leg down. From here, we're coming into a half kneeling position. So your knees are wide and we're tucking the pelvis under. From here, we inhale to drop the bum down low, close towards your heels, but don't let it go completely down. Extend your arms overhead and then exhale, we squeeze and lift. Inhale, we drop down into a little squat position. Exhale to squeeze and lift. That's it, we repeat it from there. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Even though we're mostly working on our upper body here, I couldn't resist adding a little bit of glutes. Why not? You've just got four more like this. For three, really squeeze the shoulder blades together as they come down. For two. Last one, we hold it down. From here, rotate your hands so your palms are facing towards the floor. Exhale, squeeze your elbows towards your waist. And then we inhale to lengthen up. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to lengthen. So you're bending through the elbows and they're coming nice and narrow towards your waist before lengthening back up. We squeeze and lengthen. Imagine your arms and your hands are working through water here. Keeping that squat position. You've got four more like this. For four, really resist on the way in and on the way out. For three. Long neck, long spine here for two. Last one. Extend the arms overhead. We repeat. We lift up and squat down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Really squeeze the glutes, tuck the pelvis as you come up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You've just got four more like this. Last three. For two. 
On our next one, we hold it all the way down. Hold it here. From there, go back to the same position we were at before. So elbows nice and wide at 90 degree angles. From here, we inhale to close the arms together. Exhale, we squeeze them. Squeeze our shoulder blades together at the back. Inhale, we close. Exhale to squeeze. That's it. So we're really working through that upper body, keeping in that squat position, but also making sure you're working your core. So your belly button is drawing in towards the back of your spine. We've got four more like this. For three, again, resist on the way up. For two. Last one. Bring the arms up overhead. We repeat our squats. We inhale to lift. Exhale to squat. That's it. Inhale up. Exhale lower. We're nearly done. We've got one more set here. You've just got four more. Last three. Four, two. One more. Hold it all the way down. From here, bend your elbows towards your chest and then we lengthen the arms out long. We come into a tricep extension. So we inhale to bend through the elbows. Exhale to lengthen. Inhale, we bend and squeeze. So really think about your triceps. Engage them as you press the arms away. It's really easy to just kind of move your arms here and not feel anything at all, but you're really working through water here, resisting both ways. Put all of the effort into those triceps. You've just got five more here. Last four, keep that squat low. Core is tight for three, for two. Last one, extend the arms overhead. One more, we lift up and down. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. You've just got five here. Last four. For three. For two. Last one. We come all the way up. Arms straight away come up towards your side. We come into circles here. For eight, seven, six, five. Last four. Three, two. We reverse. We go back and back. For eight, seven, six, five. Tiny circles of size of maybe a tennis ball for four, three, two, and one. We lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling and we go forward for eight, seven, for six, five, four, three, two, and reverse. We go back for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, palms up. We go forward for eight, seven, quick, 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 little circles for five, four, three, two, and reverse. We go back for eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there for five. Hold it for four, for three. Breathe for two, and one. Drop those hands all the way down. Shake them out a little bit. We're nearly done. We're keeping it short and sweet, so we're going straight into it. Come to your all fours, lift up your back heels and press into your downward dog. From here, we inhale, lengthen the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, pull the knee in towards your chest. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale to pull. Scoop the belly, draw your knee as close as you can towards your chest. We're nearly there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull, scoop the belly, draw it up towards your spine. Last three. See if you can hold it for a pause, for two. Last one. Lengthen all the way up, hold it there. Drop the right knee down, readjust your toes, readjust your hands. We come into our press ups. We inhale down, exhale press. Use your breath to help, I promise it will help you. Press away. Inhale down, exhale push. Again, you can drop to both knees if that feels more comfortable for you today. We've got five more here. Last four. For three, keep the core in tight. For two. Last one, we hold it down for five. Hold it four. Extend the leg, point the toe for three. For two. Last one, we press all the way up. We're coming into our last little bit here. We're coming into some push-ups. You've got three options here. Option one is in all fours, where your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Option two is we come into a half plank. 
So we're squeezing the glutes, tucking the pelvis under. Option three is we come into a full plank. You choose whichever challenge is good for you today. I'm gonna come into a half plank. From here, we're just coming up into 10 press-ups or push-ups, whatever you may call them, for our last little finish. Ready? Let's go. We inhale, press down. Exhale, push away. That's one. Let's go. Nine more here. Keep the elbows tucked in. Squeeze the glutes under. I think I've already lost count. We've got seven more, I think. Last six. Use your breath for five. For four. Last three. Nearly there. I know our arms are burning. We've got this for two. Hold your last one down. Hold it for five. Hold it for four. Breathe three, two, and one. Press all the way up. Come into child's pose. Take the pressure off those arms. Maybe rock from side to side. Let your heart rate come down. And that is it for today's 10 minute arm upper body workout. Thank you so much for joining me. Like and subscribe to my channel. I've got new videos coming every week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.